Gotti. <laughs> Corey. Spooky Scary Sunday, bro. 61. Someone broke into my attic. It's damn near an hour long, bro. Let's get it. Let's get it, bro. Ooh. Yo, yo. Keep my eyes on the screen. That's crazy, bro. Shit myself. <coughs> yo. Nice. nice. Listen. Oh, yeah. You uploaded, <laughs> uploaded this on Monday. <laughs> Listen. All right. Relax. Listen. All right. Oh. <laughs> Somebody throw a tomato. Nice. I know. I know. I know. Scary Sunday. I'm a day late. Listen, I'm gonna I'm just, I'm gonna just be straight up. I'm gonna be straight up. Don't, don't give him no bull crap, Corey. Just let him know. Listen, I did not budget my time wisely this week. As most of you know, I do Spooky Scary Sunday kind of like earlier because it takes me a while so to edit. edit that junk and get it ready by Sunday. Your boy tried to be slick and wake up on Sunday and record this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like four o'clock hey, p.m. I have a meeting at eight o'clock. I already Damn. know, even if I recorded this extremely fast, there's no way I'm gonna be able to edit it that fast. That is know. that is going up today. So I'm already thinking like, ah, here they go. <laughs> we were doing good. Dude. I know was two Sundays in a row. Two. We were the. We Wait haven't... a minute. Okay. The okay, next okay. is 2019. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I love you, okay? I just, I, all I gotta do, budget my time better next week. It's all about oh, man. budgeting your time, spending your time wisely. So y'all gonna get this one on a Monday, but listen, y'all yep, yep. are getting it. That's the important part. Am I Facts. wrong or am I wrong? With that being said, spooky, scary Sunday. Nope. <laughs> It's very Sunday for those yeah. who are new. It's a series where every Sunday, shut, shut up, up, shut up, don't say it. The Samurai come together and we have a blast. We get together and we watch some scary videos sent in by ah. you guys via Twitter using the hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday. You go to Twitter, follow me at Corey Kenshin, use the hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday, and leave a link to the scariest video that you know. And if your video gets picked, you get a shout out. So you really back now, huh? No, I'm gonna find you. So sit back, relax, grab some snacks. Go ahead, get you some milk duds, get you some pork rinds, oh. and a glass of water. Best. The pork rinds gotta be spicy though. Combination. And with all that being said, first video. Get it. Yeah. Damn. Damn. First. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave that in and show I'm a real one. The first video of this week is called Don't Look in the Mirror and it was uploaded by ACM Official. Now, this was sent to us by Trey who said, this is a good video, Corey, and I hope you're having a great- Oh, that's fucking creepy. Great. You are the legend YouTuber. I'm sure that was just a misinput, as Charlie would say, and that you meant to say, having a great day. Now, Trey, I would be having a fantastic day if all y'all remember to send my slice that like button. I'm gonna just put that out there. Let's get into it. Come on now. Let's get it. Time to shit myself. You hear me? Look at me. No. Oh my goodness! What the fuck? <laughs> she saw that free sign. <laughs> he said, "Hell no." That free <laughs> sign hit different. Oh my. Fuck no. I should stay right there, Yo, boy. Relax with a capital R. Hey, if it's Looks too like you're coming home with me. That if bitch. It's too good to be true. It that probably bitch possessed. Is. Oh no. It's a little free mirror, huh? Why you think it's free? Why you think it was outside and not in somebody's house? Why is it on the table? Oh my god, fuck this. Look at Eyes are huge. Uh, 
Oh! Baby, put your... I mean, tone it so down. far it's just making her Close really up. happy. What can you talk about? Oh, my. It's not necessarily a bad thing. She been doing that all day. Now we got a problem. Two days. Baby, you... you you about to brush the hairs off your, your, your fucking everything. You, you, you finna go bald, baby. Cut it. Uh, cut it. It's been cut two it. days. Cut it. Cut it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right now, her, right now, first of all, this, this motion right here. Oh, I miss having long hair, y'all. See, in my anime hair phase, most of y'all <laughs> suckers call it an emo hair phase. It wasn't no emo hair phase, it was anime hair. And back in my anime hair phase, I'm just acting like my hair is long, right? You doing this for an hour, your arm not gonna be able to do that no more. Her arm would have been shaking, the muscles would have been- Her vice, bro, she got bigger biceps than- a, a, a professional bodybuilder, bro. I'm so doing it like that. fatigued from doing this for an uh, hour. We talking three days? F 72 hours? So yep. either the mirror is bestowing some superhuman abilities yep. into her body. I'm going to just press play. Oh, yeah. And more on my more my anime hair face y'all know who inspired me to start my anime hair face oh. i'm gonna give you a hint it's in my youtube name and i heard the reboot is coming oh <laughs> lauren lauren are you in here hey i was worried about you why are you answering my calls lauren Don't get close. Lauren. Hey, I'm talking to you. Lauren. Bro, high IQ mom. Usually they're dumb mom? in these videos. What are you doing here? I've been calling and texting you, and you haven't responded. I thought Shorty Mom was gonna cover her. What's going on? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, she then why have you starving. been ignoring me? I haven't. I don't know what you're talking about. Look at me. Oh, they're both fucked. They about to get the mom too? They're both fucked. Oh! They dead, dead. It would have been pee and doo doo all over. Hey. What? Oh! Oh no. Dang. Aye, that goes to show that. you, ladies and gentlemen, that vanity, you know, being in a mirror, being being all vain. I'm trying to think of something that rhymes. Don't be vain. Brings pain. Or when you die, you're going to leave a stain. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Now the next one is called Portrait of God and it was uploaded by Dylan Clark. Now this was sent to us by Victoria and not just any Victoria, right? Victoria of social house films. Oh, y'all know how, how big you? of a fan I am. So to have like, what the freak was that? Anyways, how big of a fan I am. So for you to tune in and even more than that, send in a submission, Victoria, like we we here. Now, Victoria said, you must check out this super spooky, creepy, unsettling short horror film by Dylan Clark. Hey, if you got Victoria of Social know. House Films, which we're going to be reacting to part three later this video of uh, Death Record, vouching for your stuff, there's got to be fire. Fuck. Mm. They drop in scripture on us. No man shall see me and live. Poor 
Portrait of God by Mia Riley. Ah. Uh. What does God look like? I'm going to show you a painting, or rather, a photograph of a painting. Just take a moment and stare at it. What do you see? Nothing. Nothing. If the answer is nothing, if it just looks black to you, don't worry, that's what I see too. Okay. But that's not what everyone sees. The painting I've chosen for this project is titled Portrait of God. While most viewers see nothing, some insist they see a person in the darkness one that they can describe and draw out with consistent details. Really? It's a man, or close to a man. You're wrinkled, skinny. Really skinny. He looks skinny. He's smiling. He's grinning. He smiles down at us. Almost looks like the corners of his mouth got smudged. Well, he's wearing a mask. It's, it's too wide. His eyes. He's looking down with wild eyes. They're big. They're big. They've got this glint in them. A speckle of light. Honestly, it's unsettling. Of course it's frightening. That kind of power should be. I don't like looking at it. I don't like it. It's beautiful. Oh. Maybe it's just a trick of the light. Fuck. Maybe they're seeing something they want to see. But how are their descriptions so consistent? Right, right. Maybe they really are having a religious experience. And... Why does God appear to them and not us? Mm. Why can they see him? <clears throat> Y'all ever practice for a presentation? I remember. Nah. Back in college. My shit used to be freestyle, bro. I just read what I gotta say. And if I could read off it, read off it. If not, we freestyling, bro. I had a presentation that I had to do in Japanese. When oh, I tell no. you, I was so nervous for this presentation. Presentations were, that was the bane of my existence in terms of the academic curriculum. Yep. Math, science. It don't matter. Throw anything at me but a presentation. When my presentation I feel started, like a lot of people like that too. I literally walked out of the class. The teacher came out, was like, are you okay? I was like, I'm literally about to throw up. I just need some water. <laughs> Went to the drinking fountain, came back. I'm like, Ugh. Gave my presentation. Why am I talking about this? Just because, like, obviously she's practicing a presentation that popped in my head. <clears throat> What does God look like? I'm going to show you a painting, or rather, a photograph of a painting. It's gonna be different. Just take yep. a moment and stare at it. Yep. I still don't see nothing. Do y'all see something? No. Maybe when it goes to a square. What do you see? Shoot, do I gotta, I gotta get mine out too? I got that thing on me, hold up. <laughs> oh, I see some. I see it, eyes. I see some eyes. something there she lets go it goes away oh, the eyes the head the body it looked kind of scary to be honest ah fuck what the ah dick that's my creepy foot 
she don't want to look at it anymore. Oh, oh, is it? I can still see it. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I can see it. You got to turn a projector off. I can see it. Bro, if it starts moving. Oh. Oh! Oh, baby, you're fucked. You're fucked, baby. Nasty. Fuck no, fuck no, fuck no, fuck no, fuck no. Oh no, she's getting grabbed. What? Sun's grabbing the shadow her. realm, where are they at right now? Nasty. Oh. So, my question right now is, is this God or... Oh, I can see it! Babe, you better keep your eyes closed. You in the dark and some shit touch you. Ooh. Was that three days? Hours. Three days. No, three days. Seconds. It's three hours. My dumbass. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Come on. You, we done here? Thank you. Thank you. That was fucking creepy, bro. Wow. Tell me why that felt like a whole hour and a half movie. <laughs> I was flawlessly executed. No cheesy, forced jump scare at the end. Thank God. Just straight suspense the entire time. Listen, as long as all of these is not jump scare, I'm fine. I can deal with shit like that and get a little creeped out. But if it's a jump scare, yo, get me the fuck out of that, bro. The music? The acting, the 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 concept, S tier. But we already knew Dylan Clark was about it. Dylan Clark did um yeah we we watched we watched we watched something from him before. I don't I, I don't really even know what to say. Like I like want to dissect this one instead of moving on to the next one. How they make it feel like we just watched a whole movie? Because Yo, my thing is, is here. it God? I'm thinking like, bro, this is like a demon. But you can't like rule out that it can't that it couldn't be God. And what she, what she was shown was obviously so captivating, yep. so beautiful. She's crying three hours. She's staring at this. She Crazy. did the Lord's prayer, you know. The, and if it was a demon, I'm sorry, it's it's getting obliterated at that point. Yes, sir. She's holding that cross so hard, it's bleeding. All right, we got to go to the next one. That, wow. I'm, I'm gonna let y'all know the chances of this week being a 10 would have a lot to do with that one Victoria See I told y'all we got one short film maker sending in another one. You know, it had to be crazy Victoria, please send us more yeah, yeah.
This next one is called Ice Trays and it was uploaded by, and it's on the screen, Deformed Lunchbox. Now this was sent to us by Shelb who said, hey Corey, I think you're really gonna like this one. Also, neutral grain bar, please. Shelb, you didn't even have to tell me. You already know, baby. Neutral grain bar going down <laughs> your gullet. <laughs> Shelb, open up wider. <laughs> Ice trees. I don't Off the top. I hope that's red Kool-Aid in there. I was just is that jello or something, baby? Because huh? Bye. That don't go in there. I ain't gonna lie. Why is it so majestic? Ah, shit. Oh, these is crazy, bro. No talking? I hope that's gelatin. What are you talking about? That don't even look like ice. It looks like... Yo, you go try it. You just question your daughter, assuming. Do you know anything about this? Why are you questioning her and you're just like, Oh, let me get a taste. Freaking cranberry. Oh my, yo, nah, this... this <laughs> yo, this, this this a different type of ad right here. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. What the fuck, man? Okay. What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? What the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. What do you say? I'm not about to get age restricted, but they are doing exactly what you think. Grandpa, please do not use those red ice cubes, bro. Please, please. Is he fucking doing it too, bro? This man's dumb, bro. Ah. A little massage chair. Done. Wait a fucking minute. Her tasting it, does that mean he he's doing the same shit as they did? It's like a, you know, bro, that fucking angle is crazy. That angle is crazy. <laughs> I'm drawing the line. What the fuck? Bro, no, no, no. This is some different type of ad, bro. I ain't gonna lie. This don't belong on YouTube. I draw the this line. whole time. 
I've been thinking, what am I watching? What is the purpose? What is the punchline? What is what what is it? What's the theme? What's it for? Who? Until I had to watch this gumless Santa Claus <laughs> deep throat these freaking bloody ice cubes. And that sentence has probably never been uttered before. <laughs> Why is he in a vibrating chair? Why did he turn it up so high? Why did he put red ice cubes in lemonade? <sighs> did he want the strawberry version? Like, did he, <laughs> did he know it was blood? Strawberry. Why is his tongue out like this? I feel like, yo, this is hella sus, bro. I feel like it's what I said earlier. Since the mom tasted it, the mom, she did it. Now, when he tastes it, he's doing it too. And it's just whoever tastes these goddamn red ice cubes, it's, it's raps. Nah, Corey, you really went this far back, bro. You really went this far. <laughs> this man went all the way back. Oh, God. Oh, he does have to eat. I'm covering this. I ain't gonna lie. I'm covering this. That man loved that shit. What it tastes like? What the fuck, bro? This was some corn. Corn shit. Some corn shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. What the fuck? The form lunchbox. Who hurt you? That <laughs> that had to be a subliminal. There there's something there's something deeper here. Fuck there's something that, that the subliminal is the corn. average viewer wouldn't understand. I ain't gonna lie. So, the old man was aware that that was blood. Why is his chair Weird, in, in the shadow realm? Why was I'm it vibrating? Like, What's the fuck? there's a deeper message. There's something, but I am never watching that again to find out. In the comments, please. You all do your best. I need the most scholarly geniuses to. Let's see. Let's see what people are saying. I wasn't late. Uh, Corey screaming in the attic scared me. Oh, God. Fuck off. All right. Uh, Let me see. Attic. Uh, yeah, no. Everybody's talking about the addict. Damn it. Elucidate what that was, please. I won't be able to sleep at night until that made sense. That makes sense to me. The music, the everything about it just didn't add up. Uh, fuck. This next one is called A Close Call and it was uploaded by Llama Arts. Now that one we watched last week with the crackhead pizza delivery guy making all them dumb decisions. This, I, I hope this one's better than that one. Now this was sent to us by Kudos who said, Hey yo Corey, how are you? Loves from Bangladesh. Kudos, I'm good. I'm good. I'm chilling with my community. We watching some good horror flicks. Bangladesh though. What language y'all speak? Bangladeshian? Let me look this up. Bangladesh. I speak Bengali. All right, why does it say Bengala? Bang, banga, Bangla. So I'm gonna be honest. That's not doing nothing for me. And dang near, neither is this. How is how is this spoken? Amitamake. Amitamake Palabashi. Oh, Amitamake. That's, that's a tough one. Amitamake. I was kind of killing it at first. Balabasi. Amitamake Bangladeshi. Balabasi. Let me see how that is. Amitamake Palabashi. Balabashi. A close call. Ah, let's I had just go. reluctantly returned home from an extended vacation trip to Japan. After experiencing delicious food beyond compare, a beautiful country, and spending time with amazing people. Nice. Needless to say, I was a bit depressed about coming home. I'm gonna be honest. I was a little sad coming home too when I went to Japan. I had some good times, good times. Damn, 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 damn. <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> Material girl. 
<laughs> Japan's a wild place. <laughs> Hold on, run it back, Turbo. Hold on. Oh, I can't get lit. Oh, Dachi. Yeah, Dachi. Yeah, some good times. Good times. <laughs> one blue, one kiss. Pause. Japan's a wild place. Wild place. On my first day oh, back shit. home, I went straight to That's my funny, bedroom bro. and passed out before doing anything else. Rather, I didn't have the energy to do anything else. Mm. It was probably for that reason that I failed to notice subtle hints that my home was not as lonely without me as I believed. Uh-oh. So Hours not... later, I awoke in the middle of the night to the sound of scuttling noises and the floorboards creaking. Understandably confused, I got out of bed and made my way into the hallway that was connected to both the living room ah. and kitchen. Cautiously, I crept my way through the darkness, groping the wall next to me for balance in my tired state as I trudged forward. I, however, we'll give y'all a pro tip, all right? You hear something in your house, stay in your room. And you go to investigate. I'm not mad at you, okay? Here's where I'm getting mad at you. Stay in your what room. If you find something or somebody, y'all want to rewatch that? What weapon does my guy have? Nothing. Right? You sloppily <laughs> going down the hallway all groggy. Then what you gonna do when you see a somebody in a freaking black ski mask just standing there? And now you, now you got to do something about it. Uh. Let me tell you how I'm walking through my house if I think somebody's in it. <laughs> and I can guarantee you these buckshots don't discriminate. So you can get it, she can get it, he can get it, Bars. they all can get it. It speaks one universal language and everybody understands. Cautiously, I crept my way through Bars. the darkness, groping the wall next to me for balance in my tired state as I trudged forward. I, however, made the fatal mistake of stepping onto one of the loudest boards in the hallway, alerting whoever or whatever was lurking in the shadows Dude, of the next room. Throw your ass home. I oh, paused, nah. as did the entity in the next Is that the Grim Reaper? Nah. Sorry, my guy, Berlizzi. Room, <laughs> before a whoosh of air was heard as they retreated into whatever crevice they had come out of. Fuck, man. Taking a nervous gulp of air, I walked into the living room and turned on the nearby lamp that dimly- Real quick, real quick. My boy, I ain't gonna lie to you. Invest in some, some, some lights that go in, in on the fucking ceiling, please. A little ass dinky lamp ain't gonna shine nothing, bro. Come lit on. Up the room. Come on, bro. Looking around, I spotted not a soul, but rather some of my furniture was disturbed. Nah. What's more, a couple of my kitchen cabinets were slightly ajar. Bewildered, but with my guard up, I went over and closed them all before readjusting my furniture, this by man. which point I had relaxed. Mm. I chalked up the odd noises and movements to my jet-lagged brain and shrugged, deciding to just head back to bed. Okay. I wish the story ended there, but I was not so lucky. The vet. Before entering the bed. hallway to my room, I saw that the large metal covering to the air vent above the couch was missing. Mm. Peering up at it, I mumbled, What the? Before a crooked face filled with abject disdain for my existence oh! popped into view. Startled, I fell to the ground Boom! and began crawling away as Get I heard out. the man begin Boom! screeching incoherently as he dropped down onto the couch. I watched in horror as his joints cracked beneath ah. his raggedy hood ah, and heavily stained there. jeans. He stared at me, silent now, before brandishing a knife out of his oh. back pocket and pointed it towards me. You're done, no? My house now! Mine! Mine! You got it! You left it! It's mine! You got it! He shouted with <laughs> a Hey, house is yours, buddy. I'm gonna holla at you. Blurred voice as he charged there. towards me. I'm out. I hurriedly crawled towards my room and slammed the door behind me and locked it as he started jabbing his blade into the door, oh. yelling at me to die. Shakily, I called the police and sobbed as I told them what was happening. Thankfully, I was told a patrol car was nearby my neighborhood and they would be at my house in minutes. Hurry I stayed up. on the phone and picked up a baseball bat just in case that deranged cretin broke down my door. Mm. A few horrendous minutes later, 
The police arrived, and after a quick but violent struggle, they managed to subdue the intruder. Mm, they look like the same motherfucker from, from last week's uh, llama art. After locking him in the back seat of the patrol car, the cops investigated my house and found that the man apparently had been living there while I was gone. But not just that. Ew. Apparently, he'd been staying at my house without me noticing for a few months. Hey, wow. yo. According to the police, they found paper stuffed under the couch that was filled with nothing but incoherent ramblings about how he planned to kill me. Sunday 13th, he's stealing thoughts. I like Monday 14th. I like it when the red water comes. Me one day when oh the time was right. With the dates next to Ugh. each entry predating my trip to Japan by an uncomfortable amount of time. Frankly, I'm that happy to be alive and relieved that the situation was resolved so quickly. But still, I make sure to triple check the locks in my home after that little incident. How about you triple up on locks? That little dinky shit is not enough. The one that above the doorknob, not enough. Triple up, bro. Get you five of these heavy duty ones, you know what I'm saying? Get you an electronic one, you feel me? Just to be safe, you feel me? A whole lot of, bro. Get this whole edge of this door locked the fuck up, boy. Each door. No. Bro. Hell no. These nah. are kind of stories that literally make me want to check my attic. I have the same oh, fear. God. And it all started from this video I saw like years ago where this dude like went to sleep and um, he would notice like food would be missing. What did my dude do? He bought a freaking camera. Tell me why this freaking woman, every night when he went to bed, she would slip out of the attic, go over to his fridge, just just going crazy on the milk and i think she like peed in a sink or something ever since i saw that i'm like yo somebody could be in my attic but i'm too scared to go Fuck up there that. i don't want to you know what we about to go we about to go i gotta i i i, I, I gotta make sure my attic this man written nah bro it's it's it's, it's it, listen listen it's the screams cory scream in the attic uh, uh attic like oh am i scary right now, bro I look at the thumbnail <laughs> look at the thumbnail seen so many movies Hell where no. somebody go in the attic and get snuffed real quick too speaking of that not that specific one he showed but i guess like recently dead ass like a couple of months ago if not last year somebody caught somebody in their attic or some bullshit bro like living there and everything i was like what the fuck but you know what i'm brave now i got y'all with me i think i am gonna need like a freaking ladder bro there's my attic right here i, I have know. i've lived in this house for years i have never been up there fuck first that. first no, no first we need a flashlight i'm scared i'm scared i'm, I'm not even kidding i'm scared all right i got the flashlight look at this Ooh, you see how strong that is? Y'all ready to go to the attic? Bro, if I get snuffed, this is never making it to YouTube. Bro. If somebody in my attic, I, I'm for Please. real. Like, Y'all about to see the whole thing. I'm about to fight for my life. And they better be stronger than me. Because if they not, they getting slaughtered right here and now. You don't got a tool or something, here. bro? This is oh, my bad. Like my bad, y'all. My bad, my bad. My bad. That shit's in a fucking closet. Oh, nah. That's the worst place to put a fuck. No, bro. An entryway to an attic? Oh, fuck no. Okay. Corey. All right. You need a light in that bitch, bro. There's, the attic right There's there. a light. Turn the light on. I'm thinking, should we, should we, should I turn the closet light on? Yes. Yeah, I think we keep it off. I think we keep it off, to be honest. You got balls, my boy. What? All right. This you ain't episode scared. will forever be the episode where we went into the attic that I've never been in before. Hell nah, bro. I actually need one of those headlamps. I'm dead ass Because I'm holding a flashlight and... Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That bit dusty. Oh my goodness. Oh no. I'm I ain't gonna scared. lie. Bro, why is this so... Yo, that shit dusty as fuck. Bro, it's cold air coming out. Bro, please. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm scared. 
I was scared. I'm gonna just give y'all <laughs> the point of view. Shoot, I don't have any more steps. I'm gonna just stand on this. I'm scared. <laughs> Come on, Corey. Yo, why is it, why is it, what is that, bro? That white oh stuff. Nah, bro. All right, Corey, please. Corey, please. Oh, nah, all right. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of over this. I ain't gonna lie. My boy, get your ass down, please. Please, please, please. 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 <laughs> Oh my god. What the fuck? There is a man up there. I fought him to the death. And the last one for this week is called Death Record. This is part three. Fuck. Okay, we started part one two weeks ago. Part two was last week, and now this is the finale. And it was uploaded by Social House Films. Victoria, how you doing? Now this was sent to us by whatever this says. I believe this is Arabic. I could be wrong. But they said. Oh no! Nah, bro. I love every spooky, scary Sunday. I've been watching you since eighth grade. I'm a sophomore in college now. I've been a samurai, so pass me my bar, please. Eighth grade to college level. So you've been in a game at least six years. Y'all know them long-term samurai gets extra love. So I'm gonna go ahead and double it up. So go ahead and consume. <laughs> All right, how's it gonna end? How's it gonna end? That record has already caught two bodies. Hell nah. If y'all didn't see part two, go watch last week's episode. This another check-in? Has to be. Cause the owner, the owner fucking... Are you good? Hey, yo. Okay, all right. So, the first woman who found the place, she was homeless, right? Yeah. And then in part two, the second woman was the owner yeah. of this, like, Airbnb. We all know what happened to her. Now, it's about the people who actually rented out yes. the Airbnb. Yeah, the text messages. Be arriving. Oh, I love shit. This. Oh, shit. My man's oh, your dog. What did you eat before? That bitch was... Wait, wait, wait a fucking minute. It just got dark all of a sudden. People this bro look at this it's light and then it's dark this light. Bro, what did you eat and before it's dark. what the fuck victoria <laughs> i was waiting oh, on no. you to pull up fuck what is this shit Ooh. Damn, this bitch. Romantic weekend in the woods. How long is this? Now. Place. Low keys. Like 20 trash. minutes. Oh, shit. Just because of all the death Ooh. that's happened. Where the magic happens. Whoa, Vicky. <laughs> Fun fact. Vicky. 70% of couples report having more adventurous sex when they're on vacation. No oh, nasty, girl. Oh, Come out! Scandalous! Yo, we have not heard this verbiage from you before. We <laughs> likes it. We likes it. When they're on vacation. Ah, okay. That's. Whoa! It was a whole clown. When they're on vacation. Ah, okay. That... That's. Whoa! It was a whole clown in the corner. Yeah, you saw it. Hey, 
babe. How are you doing? I did advise against oh, the gay old gas. Bro, get your hands off the toilet. But shouldn't there be like blood and like a whole bunch of bodies in It's a here? different bathroom. Like who cleaned that up? Station hot dog. Babe, get the camera out of my face. What are you doing? Hey, get you out. wanted to eat gas music. station hot dogs. I'm going to put some music on. Okay. Not the record. Ooh, hello. Ha. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Let's get the romance vibes going. Not with you that. Are not it. Good what job. You don't see something else, bro. Uh, this looks hopeful. Aha. Okay. Now, believe it or phone. not, I actually have use one of these before we back is this copyright i might have to yeah i, yep. I ain't putting that in i don't know if this copyright <laughs> you feel me Y'all not hearing what I'm hearing. Yeah. This is some romantic, like. Oh, let's stop. Damn. Hey, get it, girl. Vicky, please. <laughs> this man still throwing up. The mom thought was bad, bro. She ready, ready. Vicky, what's the word? <laughs> this song's still going. That's crazy. I thought that was about to be a New York drill, like <laughs> the New York drill remix. Dude. You know? Dude. Did you find one of these in your home? Oh, yo, that would have been lit. The New York drill remix. You know? Yo, baby. Did you find fire. one of these in your home? You might be a music purist. Or a hipster. Don't no put face, on the other one. Why? 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 What do we think? No. Should we give her a spin? No. No. Up. Oh, everybody start hearing that humming. It was nice knowing you, baby. Mm. His power lies in this chair. Three simple rhythmic notes all in a row. It is a violent gospel. Controls minds, spends with forces those around him to do unspeakable violent things. I've longed to understand this. I will harness this power. What? Hey, what? What is she doing? Hold her! Hold it! Put that down! Hold her down! This song, he seems capable of. Controlling his Son's victims. Behind his her, bro. Mouth restraints are lifted. The nurse on duty grabbed a scalpel from the tray. She stabbed out both of her eyes. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> you scared the crap Woo! out of me. <laughs> no. We are not talking about crap or vomit or anything else like that tonight. Please. Stephen Strange? Okay, I love it. You know, you could actually pretend to love me for one second instead of like hating every move I make. As a matter of fact, he's free I've loved bro. You every day since I passed the bar. Ah, so your love for me is contingent upon your success. Very interesting. The record's yes, still playing? Exactly. It has nothing to do with you. If it please the court, I would like to submit this footage as exhibit A. Evidence, my fiance hates my guts. Give me the camera. Mm -hmm. No, give me, mm -hmm. give me the camera. <laughs> oh, God, what is that? Oh. 
Two for one, man. It was going so good. Yeah. Two for one. <laughs> Turn it off, hurry! <laughs> you drank all she's, of it. She's in the system. Babe, turn it off. Babe. Protect yourself, gang. Push her out the way. Push her out the way. Push her! Hey! We'll just have your eardrums out instead. Wait, what did you just say? I didn't say anything. Uh, Come on. You've had a long day. Come on. Oh, my boy. You're fucked. Oh, You're fucked. She grabbed. Yo. What did you just say? Oh, nah. Come on. You've had a long day. Let's get some rest. Oh, nah. My boy, go further back so you can see that fucking clown. Did I just see some? I'm tripping. So obviously, she's been indoctrinated. She is now possessed. She is fucked, and so is homie, bro. I don't think it hit homie because he wasn't like really listening to it, but she got a. Hey, she got the upper hand. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. But it's like. She can suppress it. Oh shit! She went back to normal. Where the fuck is she, bro? <laughs> My boy, you are about to die. Yep, honey. Whoa! What the? Ah! Did she get ashy? Fuck! Honey. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was. I expected it and it still got me. Babe. I just had a terrible dream. <laughs> my boy. It's gonna happen again. Or she I probably done so. Playing. You were in it. <sighs> oh. Oh. Inception. It's still there. Oh! Bro, get up, get up, get up, get up! You're done. It's on film. Oh! My goodness! Burn this whole cabin Is it, down, it, it, Insidious? That bitch turn on my song, bro. Chain. Say up top. Copyrighted music again. You 
gods to my boy. Burn that whole fucking cabin down, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm changing that music. They're playing that music again. She took it? She said, I like this. It's my favorite song. You're done. Vicky, please. Aaron, well played. Like, she's the only one who, like, didn't, like, unlife herself yeah. from the from listening to the record it was more like something what if like she's behind the record like that's her shit you know what i'm saying like she created it or was a part went of inside it. her and like now it inhabits her and she it can like turn on and off because the other suckers like they just died she listened to it committed a murder and then took it with her and left this is like Crazy. the first three part film that we've watched on Spooky Scary Sunday and every part was amazing. It was just those three notes that can control whoever's listening. Let's 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 try it. Just just for kicks and giggles, guys. Come on. Just for kicks and giggles. Let's see if I can control you to samurai snakes that like one. I'm not gonna make you do nothing crazy. Listen, my boy, we already <laughs> We already did it. We already did it. <laughs> <laughs> guys, don't unsubscribe. I'm I'm sorry. Listen, guys, banger of a week. I'm going to be honest. That's a 10 easily. Um, hey. I had so much fun recording these. Watching Wait, wasn't last week a 10 too? These I think today. it was. Portrait of God. <sighs> wow. Um, Death Record, the whole like series. We watched a bunch of good ones today. Y'all have been on it ever since I threatened you. That's all it took for you to send in these masterpieces. I just had to little had to be incentivized a little bit. Guys, that's two 10 weeks in a row. Um can we two. make it a turkey? Can y'all get three tens turkey. back to back to back? Next week, we shall see. And I'm gonna be sure I deliver on Sunday. Because the series is called Spooky Scary Sunday. Out of here. Out of here, man. Let me see. Cord can make a 51 minute video feel like five minutes. Cord gets mad at the dude from Llama Arts for going to check out the noise without a weapon. Also, Cord proceeds to enter his attic without the buckshot. Facts, bro. <laughs> Facts. If this was Markiplier, we would have gotten a jump scare as soon as the attic opened. Fuck that, bro. True, it's just a normal Markiplier thing. We fans experience them. They fuck that, bro. Fuck that. Fuck all that. I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Corey exploring his attic was low-key scarier than the Llama Arts video. Bro, like... Hell nah. Almost one hour, you're on fire, bro. W video, man. My favorite one, I ain't gonna lie. In terms of quality, was this one. The quality on this bitch was fire. This one was fucking creepy, bro. And then you got... This weird ass red ice, bro. That 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 ass has some like corn vibes, bro. I'm not gonna lie. And then the last one, you feel me? I feel like the the second part of um Death Records was probably the best one in terms of like scariness and just creepiness. You know what I'm saying? But Victoria overcame that shit. She said, hey, this all me right here. Baka, turn it on and off. You feel me? And ooh, you fuck all that, man. Listen, that's my reaction. If y'all enjoyed this video, like, subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out.